And the message is unambiguous. The message is very, very clear. Hands off our hotels. These hotels are state assets. State assets, particularly built from workers' contributions, should not be sold without the consent of workers. On the 20th of May, TUC put out a statement after my expose, stating emphatically, and I have a copy of their statement here, that their four reps on the SNIT board protested against this sale and said that the sale should not go ahead. They thought that the sale had been stopped until my expose on the 17th of May this year. And so they renewed their resistance, their protests, and said that they were not going to allow it. We've heard the chiefs, the Ga chiefs, the La chiefs, who say that they have not been consulted. They offered land virtually for free for this, these hotels because they knew it would create jobs, it would be a growth pool, it would serve the larger society. And yet, now that 60% of SNIT shares, which are our shares, being sold to a cabinet minister, they have not been engaged. The chiefs have not been consulted. And that is why in their fury, in their rage, they did not mince words at all during the demonstration. And if you look at what is happening all over, this demonstration, Doc, has highlighted the shocking state capture, particularly in the area of lands all over the place. A few days to the demonstration, I received a call from management at the parks and gardens who said they went to work one day and somebody shows up. Parks and gardens. Switchback Road, DVLA, prime location. Somebody shows up asking them to move, that he is the new owner. The number of directors, chief directors who have called, that they just, they just received letters, including judges, they received letters two weeks to move. We'll give you one year rent. Go and look for wherever you can find to rent. Parks and Gardens tells us that their Upper West regional capital land has also been sold. The wanton sale of lands all over, sale of bungalows, they are demolished, they are raised down, and they are just sold in a short while. Doc, are you aware that as we speak, the prison service is next? All those buildings, the barracks, near the Osu runabout. Dankwa Circle. Circle area, yeah. They have been asked to move. We've given them up to July. It's now for a private developer. So the revelations are shocking. This morning, on my way here, I get a call from folks at the Boston Institute area. Rich, woman rich. They say they've been asked to move also been sold, including Boston Institute land. So, this demonstration has highlighted the shocking levels of state capture. It has also revealed in the process how Labadi Beach Hotel, for example, has lost its beachfront. And that is a matter I'm happy to continue uh, to raise, despite the threats from the Blay family, and I've asked them to do whatever they want to do. They've uh, issued ultimatums. I've said I'm not retracting the truth. <laughs> when you are armed with the truth and the facts, you fear no foe, you fear no court, and you fear no judge. So we are talking about matters that are the heart of national development, of workers' rights, and the welfare of Ghanaian workers. These hotels we are talking about, La Badi Beach Hotel, La Palm Royal, Ridge Royal, Elmina Beach Hotel, Buzia Lodge, Trust Lodge, are hotels built by workers' contributions. 
when workers retire, they expect that these hotels will take care of our pensions. We will get good returns. And if you look at the financial statements, copies of which I've brought here, from Deloitte, the reputable Deloitte, and you know Deloitte is you know, global top four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> top four globally renowned celebrated audit firms. Labadi Beach Hotel is so profitable. You know, earlier on the 19th of May, Snit had issued a statement creating the impression that all these hotels are not doing well, that these hotels need a savior. That is what compelled us to go and look for the financial statements. And we have all been shocked at the levels of profitability. Labadi Beach Hotel last year posted a profit of 158 million cities. The year before, 70.7 .7 million Ghana cities. Last year, Labadi Beach Hotel alone paid dividend to government 25 million. The year before, dividend of 10 million Ghana cities. Why do you want to sell such a profitable asset, doing so well, serving all of us well, taking care of uh, workers' pensions? And that's why in our 15-point petition to the president, we went back to history. That why are we not learning as a country? When Kwame Nkrumah was overthrown on the 24th of February 1966, that is when we started selling state assets. What have we benefited from it? Where are all those over 300 factories and industries sold? They just became properties of private people who benefited alone. We missed out on the Industrial Revolution. We missed out on opportunities to use these investments to create jobs, to industrialize, and to transform our society. Even the other hotels that are now struggling in recent years, it's a management issue. If you look at Labadi Beach Hotel's own story, that should have been the classic model to follow. So about 15 years ago, Labadi Beach Hotel was struggling. The NDC-led government decided to bring in new managers. The Liberty guys. They came, 10 year, transferred knowledge, allowed the locals to understudy them. The locals have taken over now. Indigenous Ghanaians have taken over. And the hotel is even more profitable than when the experts were managing it. It tells you that with the right management. And the irony is that the same street, just a two minutes walk apart, Labadi, La Palm. How can Labadi be doing so well and La Palm struggling? It's a management issue. We put out memos of the deputy MD who acted as MD. I was demanding eighteen thousand dollars for six months. Bad management practices. If you look at the assets at La Palm, they have the biggest banquet services, banquet facilities, conference facilities, the biggest number of kitchens, and all of that. Their land space far, far bigger than Labadi. So just change the management. Stop sending. I mean, political parachicks, square pegs in round holes. So we know what to do. We're refusing to do it. That is why, as part of this campaign, some of, some of us have said enough is enough. We are sponsoring a private member's bill. And I want to salute colleagues who have joined me, led by the Honorable Atu the... Uh, Minority leader who is strong folks calling themselves Ashanti Young Democrats or something, trying to unfortunately tribalize this whole thing. 16 years ago, when I took on the Honorable Jacob Bechibilamte and went to the Supreme Court and said that it was wrong for him to purchase his bungalow, is Jacob Bechibilamte an Ashanti or an Akan? So this attempt to trivialize matters, serious issues, must stop. I have been very, very consistent that 
politicians, political exposed persons. It's not right. It's unethical. It's immoral. It's, 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 it's just morally reprehensible. These assets are under our care. I thought this discussion would be that we came to meet six hotels. We have maintained the six, expanded it, we're creating more jobs. We have added two. We have added four. If these hotels are not good for the rest of us, they say, oh, they, they're making losses, they are useless, let's sell them. They are not good for us, the rest of us. But they can be good for the Honorable Brad Champo. How does that make sense? Then this claim that Honorable Brad Champo is a hotel management expert. I won't take any expertise away from him. But the question I ask is, why do we send people to cabinet? <laughs> Our brother has joined cabinet. He's clearly going to bring his expertise to bear. When you read the constitution, cabinet is a place where people go to brainstorm. Share their expertise and help us move our country forward. So you have the hotel management expertise. You will only bring it to bear if you buy the hotels, if the hotels become your private property. You won't share it with all of us to benefit our country. Is that patriotism? I mean, so whichever angle you look at this thing, it just doesn't make sense. 